I uh, joined the first library, is the church in such the the people get together to serve the law. And after then, about one hour later, I did the second uh, service time in Korean church there, the same house. Uh, my room was second, second um, floor, the church first floor. But the church, 9.30 star street, street church, and 11 o'clock, Korean church. And uh, at the Korean service time, they played a and just a uh, yeah, record, and they, they hear the word of God from one of the Korean pastors preaching. And uh, after the service, they ask me, who are you? Where, where are from you? I am from invest in Korean, Korean, uh, Korean invest in Zurich, in, in Berlin? No, no, I am pastor in Korea. So the next time, next Sunday, I to uh, preach there. About uh, uh, for five, for three, uh, three years, so I could work uh, for the Korean Church, and then uh, I went to uh, Jiji, the Jiji University. Anyway, uh, after ten years, uh, I should have decide if uh, whether I go to uh, Korea or go to America. But uh, I have no idea which part in America. How can I get there? But I. Prayed, Lord, you asked my prayer. The first prayer was visiting Europe. And I started so much. So I'm very thankful for your uh, help me. And then, now I should decide whether I go back to Korea or go back or go to America. And suddenly, uh, one of my friends called me by phone and I and said, hey, Pastor John. Do you want to work in, in America? What? Where? Yes, in Oregon. There's a small church started just six, six months ago. So I thought it is one of my prayers and church. So I said, yes, I will. But I didn't, I did, did not have any idea where is Oregon State, where should I go? But he said, oh, just uh, buy a ticket, uh, hotel to Oregon. Then the American city will reimburse the money. So I bought a ticket to Portland in Oregon and I went to Chicago and then uh, came to uh, Portland. It was 1995, about 17 years ago. When I arrived in Eugene, very small agency, very small town, and the church was about 10 members, mostly students, very poor. Very small, no any church, just rented a very humble house. So I was very uh, confused. Oh Lord, why did you send me here? So small town. But uh, year after year, I didn't realize how my God uh, showed the meaning of uh, uh, using. Service. Because now, through, uh, from our church, about uh, 20, more than 20 professors came from our church. So many students started here and got PhD and got job, half of them in America, half of them in Korea. So I am very thankful. Today, I see among you more, more wonderful scholars will come someday. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Anyway, uh, so when I came to America, my speaking was uh, known for 10 years I spoke in German, in German, Deutsch, so Guten Tag, Guten Abend, Wie geht's Ihnen? Then I should have changed Good Evening, Good Morning. So sometimes, good ten morning, oh no, oh, good, good ten other, no, good, 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 uh, good, good ten uh, morning, good ten morning, good morning, but uh, now, until now, so I say, my speaking is uh, German, anyway, I'm very happy about that, so sometimes when I, uh, 
Stella Welcome Friend also in my ministry for the my pronunciation so broken, then the friend told me, oh no no, I I don't know any Korean single word, so you speak very well. So, so they comfort me. This is I want like to talk about uh, the uh, Mr. Lee read uh, in the Bible, the Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Uh, as uh, we hear, this book was written by King Solomon. Solomon is the second king in Ju Judea. Uh, his father was David. And uh, Solomon was very uh, enjoying his life. He was king, very wealthy, and many uh, strong armies in his country. Uh, but uh, he said, uh, meaningless, meaningless. Nothing is mean, mean. So, uh, anyway, uh, I, but his writing is very uh, valuable, very wonderful. So, uh, American famous Thomas Wolfe uh, wrote and followed, All I have ever seen or learned that the book, the Ecclesiastes, seems to me the noble, noblest the wisest, the most powerful expression of man's life upon this earth, and also the highest flower of fortune, elegance, and truth. I am not given to dogmatic judgments in the manner of literary creation, but if I had to make one I to say that Ecclesiastes is the greatest single piece of writing I have ever known and the wisdom expressed in it the most lasting and profound. It is written by the Bull, the famous novelist. Anyway, the writer of Ecclesiastes is known as Solomon, who, uh, as I told you, the second king of the day. He got not only such uh, material abundance, but also many soldiers, generous and good people he had. His Fame was very high at his generation. Many world leaders came to meet him and they wanted to learn from the King Solomon. He was also a good scholar. He wrote many books. He searched about nature, such as animals, water, plants, etc. His nation was in the golden age. No nation, kings, dared to attack or challenge his authority. We can say that Solomon was a perfect king at his time. Although he experienced such, so much happiness, he didn't feel real happy in his life. He said in verse 2, meaningless, meaningless, utterly meaningless. He knew that all his king's glory, however, or power, or pleasure, are passing by. And someday he will be one of the dead in two. He urges young generation as a follows: Remember your creation in the days of youth, before the days of the trouble come and years approach, when you will say, "I find no pleasure in death." To remember means to acknowledge the Creator. Very important. It means you should respect the Creator, you should trust in Him and love Him. It means fearing God and keeping His commandments. God is the only Creator of this universe. He made the earth, the sky, sea, and the land. Without Him, nothing could be pleasant. John said, through Him all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made. In him was life, and the life that life was the life of the man. Although we can see him through our physical eyes, although we can touch with our hands, he is a living God. He rules all the universe. Solomon said in his other book, Proverbs 36, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Yes, if you accept you are the great God, you are 
He is the creator of God. He will accept you in every corner of your life. Although you are in darkness, you will find the bright path of your life. The Lord your God will protect you anytime you seek Him. It's very important for you to admit the Creator. He is the living God. He, is, he loves you. He wants to provide all that you need. And also, He, he wants to answer your prayer. As I told you, I prayed for two uh, main big things. One, I wanted to proclaim the gospel in Europe. He answered my prayer. Second, I wanted to proclaim the gospel in America. He answered my prayer. Anyway, today, he is a living God. So if you pray to him, he will open his ears and he wants to provide you whatever you need. And what should we remember the creator? Oh, when, when should we remember the creator? You can remember the Lord any time in every young age, but especially in youth time, it's very important. Solomon urges us to remember him in the days of your youth. Why? Because the time flies so fast. If someone thinks that he wants to remember the Creator later, and if he spends his time for his own life, the time is not enough for him to spare. Time doesn't wait for him to accept the great the creator, to admit him. Psalm 90 said, The length of our day is 70 years or 80. If we have the strength, yet their span is but trouble and sorrow. For they quickly pass and we fly away. We don't have enough time to serve our Lord as we talk. Time doesn't wait us to live alone. According to our text, Solomon said, remember you are created when you are very young, very important. So, uh, I, I remember, as I told you, I started to join church life when I was under 10 years of age. It means more than 60 years, I served my Lord. Only the Lord, one God. And I am very happy about that. If I remember later, 40s or 50s, then the time is too short. But uh, I am very uh, excited that I could uh, follow His path all my life. I hope all of you also please stand firm in the Lord. Stand strong in God so that the Lord will stand by you, will help you, will lead you until the end of your life. Before, uh, according to the next, Solomon said, uh, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars stole down and the clouds return after rain, remember your creator. In this text, the sun, moon, and the stars related to the light. We have the light of our wisdom, the light of our reason, the light of our happiness. But someday, all the light can fade away. You can't understand the word of God because you, your wisdom uh, go away, goes away. So then you can forget what is Bible. I might also forget who is God, but before that time, we still remember our Lord very clear, strong, it's very important. So I was at in verse 3, when the keepers of the house trembled, uh, tremble, and the strong men stood, stood, when the grinders ceased because they are few grinders, means, uh, our teeth when we eat food like the grind. So before the grind start, remember the Lord. It's very uh, important. Our body get old so quickly. Before they leave you, you should take the opportunity 
our remembering our Lord. Solomon said to me in the final verse 5, When men are afraid of hate and the dangers in the street, when the almond tree blossom and the grasshopper drag himself along and desire no longer is stirred, and men goes to his eternal home and the mountains go about the street. The final, remembering God is the most top, uh, precise value in human life because it is our duty. God made us to serve Him, to glorify Him. All things and other goals of it. Our strength, our power, our will, wisdom, etc. All goals of it. All liver. But the Lord said, I will be with you until the end of life. First prayer, be one myself of anything in addition to our today, of making many books, there's no end. Making many books, there's no end. And much study, where is the time? Much study, make time. So now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the man. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of me. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. If you remember our Lord in your life, He will guide you and keep you. Abraham is called the father of faith. He moved here and there, but he looked for always his God. He never forget the Creator. Wherever he moved and suffered, he started to serve the Lord. James said, chapter 2, 23, Abel believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. Abel was called God's friend. I want to be God's friend. I hope you are also God's friend. If you make the Lord your friend, he understands you best. He will provide what you need any time. Tonight, I urge you to follow from King Solomon's work. Remember your prayer in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come, and the, the years abroad when you will say, I find no pleasure 